This is the third time I've tried to record this. I want to uh, be done. I'm. <laughs> but you deserve this video. So here's the top 10 free creative tools that I think every marketer, freelancer, creative person should know. And chances are you've never heard of them. Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome for the very first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past nine years. And in today's video, like I said, I'm going through the top 10 free creative tools I think every freelancer, creator, marketer, everybody should know about. And chances are you've probably never heard of them. But before we get into that, we have to announce this week's blogger of the week. And if you'd like to be the blogger of the week, just like Ayusha Nand, all you have to do is drop a comment down below and you might get picked. The first one today is called mailtester.com and it's a great way to check the spamminess of your emails and kind of gauge how likely it is that your message will actually get to the person instead of going in a, to a spam filter. And it's really, really simple. All you have to do is just copy this fake mail tester email link contact. I don't know. And you put your email. I'm just going to show you. This is ridiculous. Contact goes up here. You can say whatever you want there. Okay. Jesus. Copy, paste, send, boom. The next thing you're gonna do is just check your score. A nice little rowboat is gonna go across here while you wait. And voila, you can check your problems. You can check your whatevers. And I don't know why I'm in a blacklist, but there you go. Helpful. The next one is coolers.co, not .com. .com goes to a weird place you don't want to go to. And it has added a lot of features since I found this a couple years ago, but my favorite is still the palette generator. It is so pretty and happy and just a fantastically beautiful way to brainstorm your branding. The best thing about this is you just click the space bar and it comes up with new ideas for you. And you can do this pretty much forever. You can also start to lock some colors that you like and it will change other ones with you. And then let's say that you want to adjust. You can also fine tune from here, drag around, find what you like, click export and you are good to go. Such a handy tool, completely free, love it to death. Pexels is the best royalty-free image and video stock library I've ever found. I've heard a couple more people talking about it recently, but still I was surprised how long it took me to find Pexels because all of the other royalty-free sites that you find give you like three free options and then everything else is paid. And so all of a sudden you're not really getting as many options as you think you are. And these are stunning. Pexels is so great and they have a really big library. So for example, if I'm trying to do journaling, there are so many free options. They all have free downloads and they even have videos. So, so helpful. If this and that is one I actually haven't used yet, but I'm excited to, I think it's really fascinating. And it's one of these tools that just lets you make better use of everything else that you've got going on. As they say, it just helps you stay in sync across all your systems as you go through the day and just getting all of your devices to talk to each other in a more meaningful and what I think is intuitive way. We have to finish before my dog goes ballistic. Searchvolume.io, I have mentioned forever. It is still my absolute favorite because it's so simple and it's completely free. You don't even have to sign up for a free trial to get to use it. So the best way to do it on the most minuscule level is just to confirm common spellings and common phrasings. Like I said, this is so simple that it doesn't have discovery tools built into it, but it is such a great way to kind of make use of the brainstorming you're already doing. So all you have to do is just build a list in here. of some potential search terms, submit them, and you can rank by search volume. So easy, so fast, so simple, and like I said, completely free. Xtiles was a previous sponsor, and I actually 
use it and I really love it. So I want to talk about it again, not sponsored in this video, all for me. And the way that I use X tiles is to create these dashboards. So when I am managing a sponsor for a video, I like to have everything laid out in terms of the tasks that everyone needs to do you and me and the information that we're creating and sharing. And then we also have things like the agreement over here, the topic schedule is linked up in these different tabs. It's just so easy to connect with each other and I can easily create and organize these new details whenever I want to add them in. So simple, again, X tiles, and it's free for now. I think that they're gonna make it paid down the road, but it's free right now and so, so cool. It's not perfect, it's a new app, but I really like it. And we have peachpay.me, which uh, also was a sponsor in the past. And again, not sponsored right now, I just like it. So we have it for invoicing, calls, customer, contact lists, and then the coolest thing in my opinion is their profile. It's kind of like a link tree swap out um, because it makes it super easy to have all of your links and downloadable assets or whatever. Um, you can sell things on here. You have your social links, everything. People can also support or donate through here, which no one ever, ever has. <laughs> but if you wanted to, if that's, if you got an audience to do that, they can support to donate your channel or whatever else you're doing. Um, and invoicing, like I said, is completely free. There is processing fees, which is normal for any online digital processing. And the cooler thing about PeachPay is you can set it up to have you pay all the processing fees, your client pay all the processing fees or split it down the middle for both. Typelit.io is a funny one and it might seem like silly, but it is really helpful. And if you've seen this video, we know that I'm a very fast typer, but I'm a very messy typer. So if you're looking for a way to practice your speed and accuracy, one such way you can do that is with typelit.io where you are typing along with classic literature. So for example, if I want to type along with Anne of Green Gables, and mine is about 86 words per minute. Is that good? Typing at a speed of 57 words per minute or higher is very good. Ooh, that's the 94% um, accuracy, not bad. Just a little pat on the back I need it for the day. But yeah, it's fun, easy way to practice. Tinywow.com is one of these apps that just does all the random computery stuff that is so annoying and you just need a way to do it easier. <laughs> so it's 100% free and it has nice security things like your, your files will be de deleted after 15 minutes, stuff like that. There's some really simple ones like turning a PDF into a Word or like splitting PDF into multiple files. Yes, technically you can do all those things with like Adobe Acrobat, but most of these things are just so not intuitive with native apps. And instead, TinyWow makes it really simple. And then there's just a gajillion of these other tasks like if you have an EPUB that you need to turn into an AZW3, uh, no, <laughs> no thank you. Go to tinywow.com and you'll find the app that makes it possible. PhotoP is another one that I haven't used because I have the Adobe suite, but if you don't, this allows you to open and edit Adobe files without having those on your computer. So for example, all you have to do is just drop an Adobe file in, it will open it, you have kind of a fake Photoshop in here to use for editing tools. Um, everything's unlocked. You can go ahead and move around anything, add, change, customize, export, kind of in a bootleg Photoshop. And again, free. And last but not least is World Time Buddy. I've been using this for years and it's one of these so, so, so simple, but like really helpful tools because it allows you to easily and when I say easily, I mean like for a dumb dumb like me who has no sense of time, compare across time zones and just get a crystal clear screenshot so that no one is confused. And especially if you're working in time zones across different days. So for example, if I'm in Portland, Oregon and someone else is in Sydney, Australia, my 3 p.m. on a Tuesday is their 8 p.m. on a Wednesday. Just being able to have this sorted out so clearly, take a screenshot and send it to them just instantly clears up so many problems. And like I said, it makes it really easy to, without question, compare time zones and find the time that works best. That's it, that's my favorite top 10 
free creative tools that I think are just universally helpful for people like me who are freelancers or marketers or creatives or just want to use their time a little bit more efficiently. Again, these are all completely free, at least for now, as of the posting of this video. And hopefully you were at least some that you've never heard of. I tried to pick ones like not Canva, not Grammarly that are a little bit more under the scenes for you. Have I already said if you're still watching, you're my actual hero? I don't know, but it is true. Please make sure to check out the links to stuff I've got going on in the pinned comment and description down below, including peachpay.me. If you really like my content, feel free to support and donate to my channel. You'd be the very first. I would, I don't know, give you a shout out or something. And remember you are worth so much more than your workload and let's get back to work.